Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last episode, we uh, walked farther and farther into Soul Sanctum, until we got transported to another dimension, but it's not really... So I was always confused at what this place was. <clears throat> I was like, it's not the ocean, then, like, I, I was like, are we just in another dimension? Like, obviously it's not the ocean. Like, where are we exactly? But we won't, we won't discuss that anymore, so we can't reach that one. Um, you really just gotta wander around here until you uh, figure out where you gotta go first. Obviously. <laughs> but uh, eventually you'll get led down here. So I'll steal this from this kind, young, elven looking lady with her pointy ears. I actually do like the animation for the water flying out. I thought I always thought that looked really cool. It's the pillars fleeing out of the water. Isaac put the Venus Star in the Mithril Bag. Good job, Isaac. Good job, Isaac. Good, good. Now go fetch the others. Oh, Craven. <clears throat> He's so excited. Was, is one not content enough for you? It should be, buddy. Baby boy. We hop this way. Uh, thanks to the Venus Star we got, that pushed this pillar. What if it didn't do that? Then we'd never be able to get this thing. Interesting. It's making me do it in a certain order as well. You'd think it'd just be like, you know, just get whatever one your heart desires. Um. Keep in mind the locations of these statues. You'll see the Mercury one is to the top right, the Venus one's to the bottom right, the Mars one's to the top left, and the uh, Jupiter one's to the bottom left. I just put the Mercury star on the Mithril bag. The locations aren't super important, but they are. They, there's a cool little parallel to the locations that they exist in. Good, good. No, go fetch the others. That being said, that parallel is not going to even really matter until the very end of the game where uh, this won't even really be remembered anymore. Good, good, no, go fetch the other one since I forgot to read that. So I have to go down here now. Also, I apologize once again for kind of immediately knowing all the solutions to all the puzzles since, like I've said, I've played this game a million times. So that's kind of why it's all this kind of uh, second nature to me at this point. Yay! There's one more to go. Good, good, now go fetch the others. I just thought this one looked really cool. It's purple with blue in the middle. It looks different from the other ones, but okay. Isaac put the Jupiter star in the Mithril bag. Hello? Uh-oh. The music stopped. That can only mean one thing. The composer fell asleep. It looks like they spotted us. I would be safe until the they gotten all the elemental stars. You, you mean to steal the elemental stars? Craven, you were stealing the elemental stars. Mr. Craven, are you calling us thieves? As I recall, aren't you the one who stole our information? I mean, that's not the best argument, but come on now. What will you do once you've gotten the elemental stars? I'm sure they'll do us in once they no longer need us. Relax, you will not be hurt. It's the guy we saw at the inn. It's Mystery Mask! That was our agreement, was it not? That all depends on how well they cooperate. They'll be safe as long as they hand over the elemental stars. Isn't that enough? You heard us. If you wish to save your friends, then give us the elemental stars. Do you accept our terms? No! They're probably just gonna kill them anyways. Very good, Isaac. You must not give them the elemental stars. Why would you deny us? Don't you want your friends to be safe? Because they're gonna kill them anyways! What guarantee do you have once uh, we've given you the elemental stars? A guarantee? Ah, I have one. You'll have to remove your mask. Masking no! up! Th that means. Ah, of course. Fine idea. You'll be our guarantee. Under the circumstances, we have little choice. Felix, remove your mask! What? What did he say, Isaac? He called the guy Felix. That's what he said, isn't it? <laughs> I should have said no. You heard it too. Felix, could it be? That's it, the boulder. We saw him die, didn't we? I mean, we didn't see him die, per se. He just kind of got slipped under the current. We searched for weeks, but we still couldn't find him. 
What's wrong, Felix? Don't you want them to feel safe? That explains why I felt so shaken when we saw him in the inn. Felix, wasn't that the name of your brother? But that accident, my brother, he... I'll do it. I'll take off my mask. <gasps> boom, boom, boom! It, it's not possible. Is he... Or Jenna. I know I've caused you so much grief, Jenna. It was a miracle that I survived that day. We were the ones who saved him. We saw him fully unconscious in the river as we passed. I've been with him ever since. I've experienced a lot. But why? All in due time, Jenna. Why did you leave me all alone? Jenna. My own brother. I thought you were dead. Save this teary union for later. That's right. The elemental stars come first. Is this acceptable? Felix would never allow us to harm you his or his sister. Felix will be our guarantee. Now give us the elemental stars. We don't have any choice. Should we give them the elemental stars? I mean, I guess so. Felix has very clearly turned to the dark side here, but what could we do? I guess I should take the elemental stars to them. Isaac handed them the, handed over the elemental stars. Oh God! It's the blue man group! Will you permit me to relieve you of those elemental stars? Oh, Alex, you're late! Alex is another of our companions. Hand the stones to him. How many people do they have? Jeez! Oh, great. After we, after we did all that work, Garrett gave him the elemental stars. So weird there's like a text there. I'm afraid I must apologize in advance. For you, we'll be bringing us the remaining elemental star as well. Which is also kind of weird because he could teleport and levitate and stuff, but... Okay, wait a second. He wants to grab the other one for you too? Oh, did you not understand me? You said you'd set Jennifer free once we give you the elemental stars. You promised. No, my friends. You want, we want you to bring us all the elemental stars. Stop grumbling and bring us the last star. I guess so. Also, one of the, I believe the only time we ever get to control someone other than our own choice there. We got Garrett to say yes. Thank you for your cooperation. We'll be waiting for the rest. So imagine the emotions Jenna must be going through now. First she gets kidnapped. Then she finds out her own brother has a part in her kidnapping. So we awkwardly... Oh, uh, actually. Yeah. There's a path that way, but we actually can't... I guess I'll show. Why not? There's a path this way. It's like, oh, okay. The Mars Star's just up here. There's a huge section here. It's like, oh, perfect. We could definitely reach it. And no. No, of course not. <laughs> so we go all the way around. There's probably... Well, it would have made more sense if I did that before jumping all the way over there. But yeah, poor Jenna. I always felt so bad for her. There's only one left. You're almost done. What are you doing? Bring us the final gem. My brother is alive, but why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry, everyone. I'm responsible. There's no kidding. <laughs> if you want to save them, you'll bring us the final elemental star. Felix with this typical dot dot dot. Oh, oh yeah, it's not this way either. That was always a huge pain to get. I guess they're really just trying to dry out the, uh, the emotional, the hell's going on section here as they, like, because they make it very confusing how to get to it because you have to go all the way around. And I went the wrong way again. Good lord, man. Actually, do you have a practice file? And this is the very first time in literally, like, probably four, f probably four years since I ever started Let's Play. I only did practice files, uh, for my first few Let's Plays, and after that I just kind of winged it, so, uh, that's how serious I am about trying to do this game as good as possible, but of course I'm failing it now. <laughs> as we get the Mars Star and the Mithril Bag. Oh god. Um. Where did the water go? What's the matter? What happened? No! Not again! 
The water's gone! Once again, it's Turtus. Not again referencing the storm. Without the energy of the elemental stars, the chamber's collapsing. Is this the terrible retribution the villagers spoke of? No, this must be more of alchemy's awesome power. Uh oh. <sighs> it's over. But what was it? What is that? No! Um. It looks like one of the rocks from three years ago. That rock is floating. Do you know what it is? I think oh, I have no idea, man. Me neither. It looks like someone's using synergy to lift it. Oh, actually, if I would have said yes, I would have said yes, I know it's a rock, Isaac. <laughs> Can that be the wise one? Such power. Incredible. I love how they show off the power by like making the screen go with sepia and all that. Wow. Jenna's in love. <laughs> Another weird emotion for Jenna to be going through right now. Uh, it must be the Guardian of the Elemental Stars. It doesn't look good. Maybe we should escape all we can. We need the Mars Star. We can't leave it behind. I agree with Felix, we're no match for the Guardian. The Marster will have to wait for another day. What about Isaac and Gary? You just can't leave them here. Forget about them, they won't make it out alive. But Saturus, there's still a chance they might survive. Anything is possible, so what do you suggest we do? We take this Jenna with us. If they survive, they'll want her back. And if they want her back, they will bring us the star. That was a hard sentence to leave me, apparently. Regardless, Kraken must come with us. He is connected to all of this. Alex, are you breaking our promise? Conditions have changed since we made that promise. Jenna's not any part of this. I won't let you hurt her. Do you want with me? Just let Jenna go. Your bravery speaks well of you, old man. But you cannot help Jenna now. If you leave Jenna, she will surely die. Is that what you want, Felix? So we ought to continue as elsewhere, Felix. Felix. Please, can we go? Let's make haste. Hey, don't push my sister. We think you're talking to you owe us your life. Minority! <laughs> Jesus. So much chaos. Master Crane, you'll be joining us, of course. Alright. Hi. I feel like in all this time, we definitely could have made it back to that bit, but uh, okay. And again, I guess everything's shaking and fire and crack and doom. Isaac Garrett, don't die. Also, remember this line. This is a very important LOL line later on. Will you remember it? I always like that noise. <laughs> Marstar. It's a pity that we have to leave it, but perhaps we'll be seeing it soon. Alex knows what's up. He knows what happens in these games. The main protagonist can't die. <laughs> Yeah, that angel statue will surely protect you. Well, this turned out well, badly, wouldn't you say? No, it's fine, Garrett. How could you be so calm at a time like this? Because I'm a silent protagonist. Jenna and Crane are gone. I have spiky hair. You don't think they'll hurt Jenna and Crane, do you? Probably. That's a lot. <laughs> but seriously, Jenna and Crane should be fine. Felix is with them. Definitely, uh, messing with Garrett is definitely a big, uh, good, hilarious thing about this game. So, now what? Should probably get moving. Hey there, Garrett. Hey there, boy! This is really terrible. A long way to go if we're ever gonna make it out of here. Should probably start going. Like, now, Garrett. <clears throat> We're in big trouble. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Let's get out of here. Get walking in place. <laughs> hey, Isaac! Isaac, I'm over here! Come on, we've gotta go! 
I like how they make the, the this rock, floating rock's eyeball, they make his eyelid look like it the fluid. It looks it's weird. Why are you standing there? This place has become dangerous. You're the dangerous one. No, Garrett, he's the wise one, not the dangerous one. Yeah, he did it. Volcano erupt. I cannot hold it for long. So that explains right there where we are. We're actually in the inside of Mount Aleph. Inside the volcano. You must leave this place. Yeah, the elemental to Jin. Jin, they have returned. Take out the elemental star. Just, I could just say yes and cooperate. However, just, just to show off the wise one's power just a little more, we're gonna say no. Isaac cannot resist. It doesn't even matter what we say. Return it to its bank. The elemental stars are moving away from here. Without the power of the elemental starts to contain it. The, the magma f flows freely once again, and this chamber is collapsing. Remember these lights, these little lights flying off as well. There will be no chamber for the elemental stars to return to. The world will be exposed to the threat of alchemy. Alchemy? A threat? It can be dangerous power if it is misused. If the elemental stars ignite the flames of the four lighthouses, that power will be released. As long as the four lighthouses remain unlit. But before our elemental lighthouses have been explained a little bit, at least they've been mentioned, I can tell you that these statues, where the Mars statues right beside us here, and where the other ones were, they actually correlate almost exactly where the lighthouses are located. Which is a really cool easter egg I did not know until very recently. The volcano, it's erupting, flee now! But how? Ah, I see. I will help you. What other insane powers does this floating eyeball rock have? The world made I also really, I'm really curious why he's a floating rock. I don't know. It's cool though. I like it. Very abstract. That fooling I think save us? I wanna say yes. I'm gonna also say we should get the hell out of here! Yeah, right, <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> now I don't believe we get monster encounters here. It's possible? I don't think so because they took away because we see now Uncle Jenna is no longer with us, she's officially gone. Which is why it always kind of hurts to buy equipment for her via the game. I really didn't need to, but I also didn't want to completely ignore her and be like, haha, just because, you know, I didn't want to knowingly kind of show that I knew she was going to disappear. But yep, so she's gone now. She's gone bye bye. Flexible party members. We already had a fire at up. Garrett's our fire at up. We don't need no Jenna. Get out of here, Jenna. Jenna Marbles. That's relatively easy to run. It's it's always funny, it's always like, oh man, I gotta go through the entire dungeon again to get out of here. You can also actually, should I do this? Nah, we'll showcase that later. Actually, I think we can even show it right when we do get to the very end here. Uh, as you say, it was a show off retreat. I don't even know if it'll actually work here, I don't think I've ever tried it. So we'll get to the end normally, and then we'll quickly flip it off. But yep, so, tower world collapsing, but you know, RPG timers and all, there's not really a timer unless there's a timer on the screen. Everything's fine. Oh, is this the entrance? Oh, cool. Actually, let's just go back in. Alright, so let's just go up here. Let's see if this works. Just retreat? Cool. This is very useful if you get uh, really far into a dungeon and then you run completely out of supplies and you're just gonna die. So that just teleports you to the very beginning of a dungeon, wherever you are. Well, unless you're not in a dungeon. It only works in dungeons. <laughs> oh no, I should have paused the episode there. I'm an idiot. I think it was about 20 minutes already. I thought Mount Aleph was inactive. Oh, my grandson. 
Would Carrot be safe in this eruption? Grandpa, we don't even know if he's up there. What's this? Someone saw him and his friends climb out Aleph. We were hanging around here while I was on guard duty. Nice guard duty, bro. Also, wait. Is that brown around his neck? Is that a beard? Or is that like a scarf? Or like a sweater? I always thought it was like a turtleneck sweater or something, but it could be like a weird beard. It is a weird beard! You can see it go from his hair down his past his ear. I've never noticed that before. That's really stupid. I think Garrett went to Mr. Craven's house. Didn't they say they were studying alchemy? Yes, they did. But what does that have to do with the eruption? Well, the eruption answered that for us. Uh-oh. It's Grandpa and the others. Should we do as we should go back up? Yes, let's go back to the flaming volcano, Garrett, of course. Let's do it, yep. Okay. Garrett! Damn it! Isaac! You're safe! Come over here, both of you. Uh-oh. Looks like this tree wasn't enough to stop me. The tree that looks like you shouldn't be able to get past. Where have you been? Uh, what happened? Jen and Kane with you? Uh, they were. Uh, speaking of that, we should probably take care of that right now. They were taken away? By whom? This is all very complicated. We'll need you to tell us exactly what happened on the mountain. Come to the sanctum, both of you. Everyone gathering up here when the mountains are erupting is probably a bad idea. Should they not be gathering like in the plaza again, like they did three years ago? Because I like these little uh, fast forward in time while they explain everything. Oh, here comes my favorite dance move. I don't know why Garrett ran around me for. I'm trying to figure like what are they even actually saying here? Like, what is Garrett running up there? What does that indicate? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes everybody. Oh, they're doing it! They're doing the infinity! The infinity stone, the infinity loop. <laughs> I like this too, it looks like they're on treadmill activating and I can bring it to the present again. We had no idea the true sanctum. I was not, I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing sanctum correctly, it's, it always sounds wrong to me. Like, that does not sound like a real word to me. Gen created and their prisoners. And taken against their will. How awful. You think we can be saved? Of course, I hope. Please. Jenna's brothers Jenna's brother Felix will protect them, won't he? What is a great healer? You've been very quiet. It's like you're a thousand miles away. That hovering stone, the one that appeared before Isaac. It was a very long episode, I'm sorry. <laughs> what about it? I've seen it before, in my dreams. In your dreams! In my mind's eye, it appeared again, just now, and spoke to me. Oh, you crazy guy. You saw it just now? It must be the wise one, guardian of the elemental stars. Tell me what happened to you in the soul site. Or you could have just listened to us. So, what does the wise one say about the eruption? Will the volcano destroy Vale? Almost called it a Val. Va Val. That's why I used to call it when I was a kid for some reason. It's impossible to stop the eruption now. Will Val be. Fail. Fail. <laughs> no, now it's stuck again. Veil will be safe. The wise one will prevent the lava from reaching us. That's good. Probably be very hot though. Our Death Mountain from Ocarina of Time or any other Zelda with Mount Doom in it. Got no, no, Death Mountain. No, not Mount Doom. That's that's another one. That's a Lord of the Rainbows. What's the matter, Great Healer? The village will be destroyed, won't it? Something even more dreadful than Val's destruction looms ahead. 
Veil. Now I'm saying Val again. Dang it. What could be worse than the destruction of a Veil? A terrible power. Elemental gems, star gems, house incredible power. And Veil has been guarding those gems? Elemental lighthouses will lose that power. Will, will loose that power upon the world. Not lose it, loose it. Once the power of the gems has been released, the whole world will. The last one wants us to get the gems back, doesn't he? This world is ours to save or to destroy. Our action may bring about its destruction. What a pity. We cannot hope for the salvation. We must save ourselves. What can we do? Acquiring ele elemental stars is their fate alone. Are you suggesting we place the fate of the world in the hands of Isaac and Garrett? Garrett is only a child. You can't expect him to bear such a burden. The wise one has spoken. Each of you shares responsibility for this. And definitely not Craven. Nope, it was definitely our fault. Now each of you must make your own decision. I don't know what to do. Isaac, you decide. Isaac will accept responsibility for the fate of the land. Yeah, I don't really feel like it. Not today. Can't blame you. I couldn't do it if I were in your shoes. And there you go. Isaac would never doubt your courage just because you declined. It's a terrible burden to be responsible for the fate of the world. Is it right to refuse when the world was in such jeopardy? It's clear that the great healer really wants you to say yes. I don't blame you. I couldn't do it if I were that one. <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely. Alright, well, well, I guess it's time to end the game. Thank you guys very much for watching this Let's Play. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, see you guys on the next Let's Play. Once you step outside this, the village, you cannot take back your decision. The village? Don't you mean the Sanctum? Think about, before you, think about that before you leave the Sanctum, Isaac. Yeah, I'm good. Alright, goodbye, everybody. And so, the road began drifting towards feared fated destruction. And that's it. <laughs> that, that is one way to end the game. Talk to you guys next time. Goodbye!